Hi, I'm Darylis, and this is an intro. Yes, this is an intro. This is my new intro, I think. Now let's get into this video. As you can probably tell from the title, in this video I'm going to be revisiting some games from my childhood or games from back in the day. Just generally games that I haven't played in a very long time, but I sort of remember playing in the back of my mind, and I want to sort of revisit some of those in this video. The first game that I wanted to try out I've actually been searching for for a bit now, and I'm realizing I can't remember what it's called. So I've messaged a friend to figure out what it is, and if they get back to me with the answer, I will definitely include it later on in the video. But we're just going to jump on to some of the Girls Go Games games. I remember these I would occupy a lot of my time playing. I would watch YouTube. I think I used to watch makeup YouTube, actually, so I would watch a lot of those type videos. I think I might have even watched Lele Pons at this time. I'm not Dina. I don't know. This was a weird time in my life, but I would play these games on this site called Girls Go Games, and we're gonna try out a few of those. I'm gonna see if I can find ones that I actually used to play back then. So I know there was some sort of potato game and you would give the potato a haircut and stuff like that. I forgot how this site was basically just malware. <laughs> like the amount of ads and they keep like popping up even when you X them out. Good stuff. Good memories, man. Also, the ad has changed slightly now, but can we talk about this horse breeding game? Okay, so I have no idea why it says that the game is locked or what that means really, but um... I guess I'm just gonna type it into Google. Real haircuts, I think that's what they're called, and maybe I can actually find the potato. Okay, what even is that? I'm just saying, can you imagine like being a celebrity and then you go online, right? And then you just, I don't know how you would stumble across this, but you just see this, like your face, and then like this just fake hair, just like, this is, <laughs> this is this is horrifying um back to the search for the real haircuts potato game so i found it the potato game so apparently it's called a po game not just a potato game it's a po haircuts game just for all of the people who definitely want to play this incredible game uh yeah that's 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 what it's called apparently fingers crossed this game actually works also, can we talk about how Google apparently is cutting Flash out of its system? Like, you can't use Flash anymore on, on Google after, I think, December 2020. So that's why we're resorting to Bing here today. Okay, so it works. It works. It works. All right, all right. This is nice. Nice. Yep. The uh, horse breeding game ads are back. This is pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Comment down below if you're a furry, are you a furry because of horse breeding games? When you were a kid, did you play horse breeding games? Are you a furry now? I want to see the statistics. I'm curious, man. Good stuff. All right, let's play this potato game, I guess. Wow, that music is deafening. Let me turn it down. You know what, actually... Let me turn it up. Music kind of slaps, to be honest. Am I right, guys? Smash like if you agree. All right, I'm gonna comb his hair up, I think. I think that would be good. Oh no, he doesn't like it. Okay, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna give him an e-boy hairstyle. I think that's the look we're gonna go for. Childhood me would have never guessed that Poe would end up being a TikTok e-boy in 2020. Now I'm thinking going with the e-boy theme, I should give him brown hair with those like blonde parts in the front, like I've seen a lot of e-boys do. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna pretend that's a happy facial expression. And uh, nice. Okay, I think this is good. I'm gonna trim the hair, I guess. And now I'm thinking I should make it curly or, or wavy or something, so let's let's try and use this thingy. I like it. Um, now, what is this too? I think this makes the hair sparkly or something like that, so let's try it. Oh no! No, 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 no. Um, oh good, we can go back. Okay, <laughs> I did not like that. <laughs> Alright, honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um... 
Wow, the music is loud. Um, okay. Uh, oh, so I think this is actually the sparkly, like, glitter bottle thing. So I guess we will try that one out. Okay, I'm thinking this is the most like what an e-boy would wear because it's kind of like a rapper's outfit. So it, it's like the... I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's like a... It's a e-boy vibe. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, also I'm gonna add a uh, pizza hair clip or just a, a slice of pizza. I'm, I don't really understand this, but I get the concept. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're gonna put the pizza. Honestly, this is excellent. I'm happy with this. All right, this is bringing me back to the minion days. Minions, you know those? Love them. I also used to have a Facebook account at this time. I was letting Zuck read all of my messages. And honestly, who we both are thinking of. Some plans seem pretty important to me. Redacted. Just all of that redacted. Okay, I was gonna put the pizza on his head and everything was gonna be great. Thing is, nothing will stick to his head now, and now he doesn't look happy anymore. Um so, but um You know, everything I said still stands. Uh, I think this is epic. This is fine. We're gonna pretend a straight face is just like one of those cool, like, expressions or something that people do on TikTok. I don't know. You can probably tell I don't have TikTok. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, let's, you know, let's, let's just move on. Let's move on from this game. Urgent update. So I've been informed that apparently that game was called Stargirl. Let's look it up and see. Apparently it's called Star Doll, not Star Girl, which I think sounds more correct to me. So while trying to figure out what username and password I had, I ended up going to some of my older emails and I found this email. But um, yeah, I was, I was a mastermind at this time, as you can tell. Apparently some people I knew weren't even allowed to have an account on Star Doll and I don't even really know why. I, what even was this game? And apparently I would sign these different surveys and stuff to get more star points or something like that. Please enjoy the completely blurred out footage of me typing in every single email I can remember from back in the day. And there's a lot. There's a lot of emails, really. Honestly, I think I tried every single email I would have had back then, so I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, beef and cheese with a Z. 420. This is perfect. I like this. I remember I would always pick random dates of birth, and I think I would always try to make myself as old as the game would possibly let me. So we're gonna go with a uh, good old 1941. I'm thinking I'll just go with the ponytail thing, and then for the appearance, it's just sort of like really dark eyeshadow or just not that. So I'm just gonna go with not that, and then as for the outfits, there's, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think I'll go with the coat. I don't know why. I just kind of like it. It's giving like, I'm sort of wearing a mask, but not, but it's also a coat vibes. And I think that's, I think that's good. I, I don't know. Do I sound like a, a fashion expert? I Please do store my data, start all. Yes, I, I would love that. You know, um, please track me down, knock on my door, you know, I'll give you some, like, some Cheetos. This is great. But yeah, this, this, this is bringing back memories of, like, spending a really long time building a room and just, like, moving different parts around and making sure my person had, like, the best wardrobe or something. Okay, I remember these. So there's these different daily challenges and it looks like I have to change my outfit or something. Okay, so now I'm gonna go shopping in Star Plaza for an outfit, and I think, I think I remember, I would spend so many Star Dollars on this. I don't know if I ever actually put any real money into getting Star Dollars, since I probably would have gotten in trouble for that, just cause like, what even is this? Um, but yeah, I just remember saving up and just spending so much on this. 
and just trying to find surveys, cheat codes. And now that I remember, I did find some way to hack to get more star dollars. Like the memory is really faded, so I don't really know. I don't know what I did exactly, but I know there was a way to cheat this. Like you type in some kind of cheat code and you like type in the amount of numbers and then it works. But I'm not remembering if that was a scam or if it actually worked or what, but um, yeah, I, I can look it up and see if, if I can find anything for us to see. Yes, this is it, okay. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of fake websites that have malware that claim to give you more star dollars. And I'm not sure if I just kind of fell for those when I was younger or if I ever actually got any real ones. So it says there's this place called SD Hacks, but I can't really seem to find it. So I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems off. And then I'm clicking on, yeah. Oh, look at this. Um... Should I mention how the only store that seems to have a masculine type mannequin thing is the one called Mr. And it's literally one out of all of these. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's just, let's, let's move on, I guess, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I guess we'll just go with the Mr. one because I don't know if any of the other stuff will actually fit the body shape of the character I chose. Okay, so I don't have a lot of star dollars. Let me see if I can use this other type of currency. I don't want it to have to keep loading. Okay, let's just go back, let's go back. Oh man, I'm so stupid. Okay, so so it looks like these other ones do have stuff that will fit the body type of the character I chose. So they're just not shown in like the title cards or, or whatever those are called. Nice, a Slenderman outfit which I do not have enough star dollars for. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a look. So, um, I don't wanna talk about how I can't even buy most of this. And then also I don't wanna talk about how their face looks bruised. And you know what? On top of that, you know what else I don't wanna talk about? The shoes, I don't wanna talk about the shoes or about how basically no clothes even fit this body and the ones that do don't look good. You know what I mean? This has become a lecture about equality. Now that's what this is all about. No, it hasn't. I have nothing more to say. All I do have to say is the variety is lacking. It's, it, w w w <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, the, this is great, is, is, it, is it not? Please comment down below if this is phenomenal. I've leveled up, I'm level two now. Let me just share this on Facebook. No, you know what, <laughs> it's not worth it, it's not worth it. Um, <laughs> um, okay, but yeah, let's let's continue and see what happens next. Oh yeah, nice. They show up at the apartment in like boxes and stuff like that. That's cool. All right, I'm dressed in style, even though literally nothing fits, <laughs> but... I remember there was some sort of social element, so I think I can go and look at other people's suites or something. And now that I'm seeing this, I think I'm remembering there was like a way to almost like upvoting on Reddit where you can sort of vote which suites are better and which ones aren't. I don't really know. And then over here, there's the clubs option. And I remember I was pretty high up and I had started like a bunch of different clubs, but I don't really know what the point was or what in the world was even happening. I think this is it, the um, the contest section. Yes, I remember this now. So basically there are different themes, I think weekly or daily or something. And then start all users have to make their dolls or like the, the rooms or something fit the theme. And then people get to vote on it and see which is best. And I know some of them were just horrible. I think I was I was pretty young, maybe I was eight to 10 or I don't really remember, but some, some age when I was playing this. And I remember I would look and some people would just make them horrifying. Like just straight up, like they would put no effort in but it wasn't even that they would they would just make it like creepy okay so it looks like the theme for this one is versace i guess and so i have to see which one i think fits the theme better i think i'm gonna go with just the first one i think that fits it i don't know anything about versace i'm gonna be honest <laughs> but um yeah the first one so i think there's a big winner that comes out at the end of this 
But I think basically for the person who's voting, I think it's meant to be, if you pick the one that has the most votes, then I think that you get a gift or like some type of thing for your suite. All right, so I'm just thinking that I'll try to pick the one that I would assume other people would like more. Speed round, speed round. Wait, what? Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Some people, I don't, I don't know how, or who i don't even know what i'm saying just just look at it look at it i i'm assuming it has less votes than the other one i i guess i'll just pick belle delphine then all right with that i think i'll just wrap this up but uh yeah thanks for watching this video comment down below if you want me to i guess upload my own and, and see how many votes it gets or if you want me to try out more games from my childhood but yeah thank you for watching this video and um bye the boss baby helped me kill the dragon ender. Disney Pixar is where the boss baby came from.